right, Mr. Pruch here with some at-home tennis skills. Um, but I do not have a tennis racket or a tennis ball at my house, so I'm going to use some equipment substitutions. What I have instead of a racket is a frying pan. Um, make sure you get permission before you use a frying pan at your house. Um, instead of a tennis ball, I have a little mini rubber basketball. All right, about the same size. Our first activity, um, instead of using the inside of the frying pan where the ball obviously cannot come out, I'm going to use the underside of the frying pan. And the first skill I'm going to try and do is see if I can balance my ball on top of this uh, frying pan for 10 seconds. Ready? <laughs> too easy for you. Now what you can try and do is balance it on the underside of the frying pan. See if you can move it around. Or if that's too easy, maybe you try and walk. Maybe you try and go forward and backward. Move this around. Oh, fell off. You go until you uh, can't go anymore. See how long you can do it for. All right, our second tennis challenge is going to be how many times can you volley this ball using either side of your frying pan? My first attempt, I'm going to try and get 10 in a row. Ready? Oh, my second attempt, I'm going to see if I can get 20 in a row. Ready? Five for extra. Now, the most challenging attempt right now, I'm going to see if I can get 50 in a row. We're going to see if I can do this without moving out of the camera's view. Ready? Until failure, switching sides of the frying pan every volley. Ready? Thirty-one. So those are our at-home tennis lessons using our substitute equipment. If anybody would like to post a video or a picture of themselves using similar or different pieces of equipment, um, you can do so on your Schoology page or your Google Classroom page. I would love to see or hear from anybody that's trying these challenges at home.